Hi, hello friends, I am back for another video, and if you cannot tell from the title, this is going to be a review type video. Also, please excuse the lighting, my camera's still trying to get used to like, the lighting in my living room, so it's gonna tone down hopefully and like, become a bit better looking, but this is gonna be for the first five books in the Fever series. Um, I say the first five books in the Fever series because there are other books after that that belong with the Fever series, but are not the initial series. So I have been reading it on my tablet, but for book's sake, just to hold something up, I am going to be using High Voltage by um, Karen Marie Moaning. This is the 10th book in the Fever series, so not, not too sure of anything about this book. I'm just using it for review's sake. So I got a nice little mug of tea here that says Mrs. And just to clarify, no, I am not married. Tofer and I got these just because they were cute and we act like a married couple a lot. And I was like, we're gonna, we're gonna get them. So I got them. I have some lovely, well, I don't want to say it's lovely because I really haven't had many good experiences with it. I have the Bigelow Benefits Chocolate and Almond Herbal Tea. And it says for those who love being in a good mood. So that's what's gonna power me through this review. Um, the first time I had it wasn't too good, and then this morning I dropped my phone, my phone into it, so I had to go out and buy a new phone. So we're gonna see if, you know, third time's the charm with this. The Fever series is about a girl named Michaela Lane, and she goes to Dublin because her sister was going to school over in Dublin, and she was very brutally, aggressively murdered and left in this alley, and so she decides to go over to Dublin to try and figure out you know, what's going on and what happened. And over there she finds out that the Fae are real and that there's a lot of really crazy stuff going on and that possibly the Fae is a reason as to why her sister got killed. So the first five books is, you know, Michaela trying to figure out who her sister's killer was and what happened, but it's also about tracking down these uh, Fae objects of power, which she calls oops and hunting down this really, really powerful book called The Shisadu. So we have that. We have a couple of very main characters that are really important to the story. So like I said, we have Michaela Lane. She's around 22 years old, I believe. She is the main character. And then the other main character is Jericho Behrens. He is the guy who kind of, you know, takes her under his wing and he guides her along into her being into Dublin and he does what he can to help her in every way that he can but he's slightly aggressive about it. They have like one of those like love-hate kind of relationships which I thoroughly enjoyed but that's to be later in this review. Then we could go off of the other main characters. Flan, Malouche, um, Derek or Darak, don't know how to pronounce his name. But I do want to hit on Danny. Danny is a 13, going to be a 14 year old girl in the fifth book of this series. And she is taken under by Mac and they hunt these Fae together and they kill the Fae and they kick Fae butt, basically. Um, Danny is a feisty girl and she does not take no for an answer and she tries whatever she can to, you know, prove to people that she can be like an adult, essentially. All right, so now we kind of have like the background of it and some of the main characters down. I will talk about some of my favorite aspects about this series and my least favorite aspects. I'm gonna start with the least favorite aspects first because while there are some, there is not many. I will give you a um, trigger warning for this series. I believe it was in the third book. Um, there is a rape scene. I, you know, I was given a trigger warning so I was really thankful for that. But there is a rape scene and I do not want anyone who would be interested by this series to be triggered by this rape scene because no one told them. You would still probably be triggered possibly, but you will at least be prepared for it. And like I said, I am pretty sure it is in the third book. I could be wrong. But that is one of the things that kind of just, you know, really bugged me about this series. And I don't want to say like the series wouldn't have been how it is without what happened. But it was a very crucial part of the entire, entire series. But I still did not like it, mainly the rape scene. But um, 
all of the men in the the story in this series have a very domineering and dominant uh, personality about them and it's it's kind of one of those things that as a female you know like if someone ever were to treat me like that I'd beat the snot out of them but if you're like a male reading it you're like hopefully you sit there and think oh I really hope I don't treat females like this because the males do treat them as you know objects to be owned and like that they are theirs like they don't treat them as like independent humans but that they rely on the men that they are with so those are just like a few of the things that I didn't really like I also really wished not necessarily that I didn't like about the series but I really wished that there was more world building because for someone like me I need like the world needs to be built up so much and I know it's Dublin and you know you could easily go and look at like stuff about Dublin just to see and get the feel of it but I wanted to see it from the author's perspective I wanted to see it from Karen Moaning's perspective and you know I wish we had a little bit more description on that but also a little bit more description just in everything especially like with the Fae history you know the powers of the druids and all this stuff um we get quite a lot of it but it kind of left me thinking at times like oh how did this come to be or how did this happen so I kind of just wish that there was a bit more description in those areas but other than those few things there wasn't really much that I disliked like I was trying to pick a least favorite character out of this entire like five books that I've read and I just I couldn't and the characters that I would pick I would probably say Ryden's probably one of my least favorite just because of how much of an asshole he is. Part of my language, but seriously, I would punch my own self in the face if I didn't have to deal with Ryden. <laughs> That's how much he annoys me. But the things I really, really enjoyed about this series, first off, was the character development. When, you know, Mac comes into the story in book one, she's this like shy, like, shy frail girl who, you know, relies on everyone else to get things done for her and she's you know all pink and roses and all this stuff and she's like your typical like juicy couture like click kind of gal throughout the story we see her progress and see her get more of a personality and you know we see her develop in so many ways and the relationships between her and Danny and her and Barons as well as the relationships between her and other characters we get to see those develop a lot more than a lot of other books and a lot of other fantasy books. The author, uh, Karen Marie Moaning, did a really great job at showing that she actually cared about her characters, and she even includes a deleted scene at the end of the fifth book, which, whew, that was spicy. Like, but you can tell that Karen actually really cared about her characters when writing them, and that she actually cared about the personality and seeing them develop. There wasn't one character that I had read about in this entire series so far that didn't develop in at least one way or another. Another thing that I thoroughly enjoyed about this series is the writing style. This is the first time I've ever read anything from Karen Marie Moaning, but her writing just really drew me in and, you know, kept me enthralled. There wasn't really a dull moment, and when there was, it wasn't even really that dull. If the writing could have kept me, you know, consecutively drawn in at almost every moment, then that is a great writing for me. This series has actually helped me get out of a reading slump, which is amazing because I've read all five books so far, I believe in the month of May so far, which is amazing. So that's another, another positive. Also, I can really appreciate in this series that Mac has an actual healthy and positive relationship with her parents. While it may not seem like it because they were, you know, angry about her going off to Dublin, it is actually very healthy and positive. And you see that throughout the entire book. Like, she loves her parents, her parents love her. Like, I'm tired of those books where the characters go and do something because the parents are, you know, bad parents or not there. Like, I just want a lot of books where there are healthy, like, parental relationships and also like healthy role model relationships. More things that I really enjoyed about this series was that the series was not that predictable. I hate those series or those books where you can like easily predict what's gonna happen and I only had like one or two of those moments with this series 
and honestly, a majority of the time if I ever made like any predictions with any of these books, I was wrong about them because the author will lead you down like one path and it's like, haha, psych! Like, I just really enjoyed that the book was not predictable, like any of the books were not predictable and I can appreciate that so, so much. So my final thoughts and opinions on this series, specifically the first five books in the series, I would give the series overall a four out of five stars. A majority of the books were four star ratings. The last book I did give a five star rating. I really recommend this book to people who like adult fantasy and really like to read books dealing with Fae. I will say, like I said, it is adult fantasy. There are sex scenes in it and a lot of the stuff is sexually explicit. So if you do not like sexually explicit books or anything like that, I would try and stray away from this book and the series because it's... When I went into it, I was also very wary because I'm not one who likes sexually explicit books. I just, I just try and stray away from them, not like for moral value, but just I don't like reading like sexy steamy stories, like that's just not me. So I was like, ooh, uh, sex? Yeah, nah, um, I'm not gonna like this. But I can, I can say that while there is sexually explicit scenes, they were not copious in amount and it's just really, really well written into the stories and the novels. And to be honest, a lot of the sex scenes and a lot of the se sexually explicit content was used in a way that, you know, helped further the plot or helped develop relationships. And I'm not trying to say that you need sex scenes or like sex to like help these things, but the way she did it, she benefited the story and learned how to work with it in that way. So I have really enjoyed reading these first five books of the original Fever series. I do plan on continuing to read the next books um, that are after the series that are still in this world and like pretty much kind of part of the series. But right now, where the fifth book left off, I'm super content and there wasn't like a cliffhanger or anything of that sort. Like I could probably pick up another book or two before having to jump right into the next books. And for me, that's just something that comforts my soul because that last book was emotionally taxing and I needed a break. <laughs> I would definitely recommend you check out this series if it sounds like something you are interested in. But if you like this video, you should give it a huge thumbs up and hit that red button down below to be subscribed to my channel and hit the little bell next to it to be notified whenever I post any more new videos. If you would like to see more reviews of books or if you would like books to be reviewed specifically, leave those in the comments down below. I'll also leave the links to my social medias in the description box as well as my Goodreads reviews for all of these books. Let's hope I do. Let's hope I don't forget. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, you will probably see this as a description or being described or blah, blah, blah. Also, you'll probably hear this in another video coming up as to why I'm wearing a hand brace because pre-recording videos, but I somehow managed to sprain part of my hand. Don't know how, don't know what I did, but it's, uh, it hurts if I like do certain things. So the thumb is immobilized because that's part of the reason it hurts. So I'm kind of hoping that this will help. If not, I work in a deli, man. Like, this could be hell on earth for work the next however many days until this fully heals.